2800 spend, 148 smash. That's like probably my average swing there, or you know what I. Yeah, that's normal. That's like my baseline Here. probably. Give us swing this a few times. I want you to make sure. Golf grip or baseball grip? Baseball grip, but make sure you turn. Make sure you're. you're I, I want to see really going this way and not this way. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. So there's, you know, one of the sayings I like is, you got to be swinging the club. When you lose your balance, the club is swinging you, right? Better. That was better. Remember this old guy? Oh yeah. I still have mine. Good. Well, we're going to do a little experiment here. So let me do it with one hand. This might be easier for me to demonstrate. I'm going to swing out with this hand uh -huh. as fast as I can. It's 141. 135. 138. So around 140. Right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go like this. Around. Yeah. 149. 150. 157. 157 compared to 141. So it's obviously faster when I go over, right? So give it a shot. It's going towards. Are you, are you trying I'm to going do that? towards the target, yeah. Okay. You want me to go low no, left? Go ahead and see how target. fast you can go. I'm going to do like three or four okay. on this way. 31, 131. 124. 133. So 134. Okay. So now I'm going to try to go around. Yeah. This way. 144. Wow. So do, do a couple more. See if you can get to 150. 142. 144. When, when I see you go over down to the left, your legs make this great little spiral, like uh -huh. the squeeze pivot. If you see yeah. me talk about yeah. the squeeze yeah. pivot, whereas when you're like this, it's like the knees don't come together. But just like a pirouette, your knees snap because you got to keep turning. So that's you're definitely rotating better.
I set up to this ball just like we did before. Okay, I'm going to do two things, even one inch farther forward. Open this foot out to here, okay? Widen your stance one more inch, like, okay? Long, as wide a swing as you can make. Man, that just had a heavy thud to it. Just the spin, you just gotta. Still at 240 spin. though. Take your stance. Do me a favor, flex your knees, really settle into the ground here, because we're gonna use the ground on this swing. Not bad. I still felt the, the, the club pulled you towards your left toe, right? Yeah. Come on, baby. Okay, come on, baby. Go, <laughs> go, go. Ah, oh. 250 on the carry. It's the longest one today. It takes a little while to... Uh, Attack angle is up. Smash factor is up. Spin rate's down. 120 feet ball height. Okay, 272, that's two balls in a row, over 270, two in a row at 272. We got a whole new gear. Right up the middle, 2,900 spin, 103 miles an hour. 278. Oh, 2800 spin, 148 smash. <laughs> you joker. I think it's being long and loose and then definitely moving it way up like uncomfortably forward in my stance uh -huh. and also just trying to to focus on swinging through and around this way yeah um because the other way like i, I could really feel that i'm i'm just getting stuck here and losing all the momentum right whereas if i'm just down low and what I was working on is, again, even with the driver, when I started to hit the consistent 260, 270, um, low hands, you know, back here. And that's kind of helped me to keep the, the you know, low hands through here, like level, level, you know, low, level left, right? Right, right. So. What happened with your pitching wedge earlier? What, how far did you used to hit a pitching wedge? Um, my, I mean, I was 115 and on my, Longest when I'd hit it just right and had a good swing and everything, 125. Um, I peaked at 139 today after a few, you know, working on the same low left and around instead of out towards the target. Right. So it's a big difference. Can you feel yeah. the, the how the shaft is pressured more? Yeah. Yeah. And just more than anything is not losing any momentum. Mm -hmm. You know, like the speed, you know, not just kind of stopping here. Yeah. It's all the way through the ball. Right, so right. Even on my practice practice swings when I would 
do them, I try to focus on hearing the swoosh up over here uh -huh. in front. When we first moved that ball way forward, did it look crazy to your eyes? <laughs> yeah. Did you think you were going to even be able to hit it? Um, yeah, you know, um, no. It's, I, it's I, I uncomfortable. Kind of, it's, it's, yeah, it's, I, I thought I was going to really top it, just kind of miss it or, you know, just hit it really low. But I think I was I was hitting it top top on the you know high up on the face. Right. Yeah. Even even which it, gets when, you a higher smash factor yeah, and yeah. better numbers, right? Yeah. Like even this this ball right here, um, one hundred and three, two seventy eight, one four seven smash mm -hmm. factor. You know, you still didn't have great spin. You still yeah, had no, twenty nine no. hundred I mean, spin. We, we, I mean, some of this, these are the numbers that you had, like 103 um, swing, you know, club head speed. Your spin rate was down to like 23 or 24, and your your angle was like almost four. And when you get when you had those, you were you know 300. Right, right, yeah. exactly. So I, I felt like I was really close. Like I mean, you know, I they should right, they should work. If I hit those numbers, I should be able to get that 300. You know, my distance was in 250 consistently. I'm like 230 consistently. Right. So the last drives I was consistently hitting in the 260s. So yeah, definitely yeah, an like average. 30. Average. So so yeah, 30 to 40, like really? Wow. Yeah. 30 to 40 yards. Dude, I love it, man. I'm <laughs> glad that it took it it took a minute. We had yeah, to tinker. Yeah, we, we were stuck there for a while for a But we figured it out, right? It out, yeah. Cool. You excited yeah. to do it again? Yeah. Can you believe that Ben Hogan said there's only eight fundamentals you have to have under control in order to shoot in the 70s? Well, I'm gonna show you all eight and it's gonna change your golf game forever.